The limousine fire on the San Mateo Bridge in early May was tragic. In part, it is still a mystery, but new information is shedding light on what might have happened leading up to the fire. Cronfors Rob Flatterbo talked to the limo driver's estranged wife today about what she remembers of that fatal night. I spoke to him twice that evening, right back to back. Um, because we were in the middle of an argument. Rachel Raquel Hernandez Brown says she had a cell phone conversation with her estranged husband, limo driver Orville Ricky Brown, sometime, she can't say exactly when, sometime before the fire erupted in the back of the limo, killing five women. I knew he was in the car. Um, I did hear music. Um, when I started getting loud, um, and just because he wasn't getting getting the point that I just didn't want to talk anymore, that I received enough um, drama from him. Um, he got upset and um, he verbally started cussing me out. At that point, says Hernandez Brown, her husband turned up the radio. She doesn't know whether their arguing might have distracted him from reacting to the emergency, but she says she can't understand why he was not able to do more to help. Uh, from when I hear a random stranger on the street open the door and got her out, got one of the girls out, um, why he couldn't do the same. So I, I really don't know. He says he was in a state of shock. Shown here with her husband and their two children, Hernandez Brown says she has a restraining order against him. She also says he expects to profit from the accident and is hoping for a reconciliation. He has three different lawsuits going. Um, and I told him I don't want that money. I don't want no part of that money at all. God forgive him. I don't want that money. I take a dollar of that money, and I said, those five souls are being smacked. I said, I'll be damned that I take that money, and I'm, I'm haunted, and I have that over my head just like your hands are dirty. I don't want my hands dirty. There was no immediate response from Orville Brown or from his attorney. In San Jose, Rob Flatterbo, Cron 4 News. Today, Cronfor reached out to limo driver Orville Brown about what his estranged wife is now saying, that a cell phone conversation with her might have distracted him before that fire. And this is another look at the fire taken from our helicopter partnership with ABC 7 News. The group of nine women were heading to a bridal shower party. Five women died. Orville Brown did not return our calls. However, days after the fire, he did specifically tell Cronfor News that he was not on the phone when the fire began and he was not playing music but that the women were. This is Brown from our May interview. It's just a nightmare. Was it that you were listening to music and you're part of them no, or they had no. music? They had music on in the back. Um, she knocked on the thing. Like I said, I thought she wanted to smoke a cigarette. You know. Um, Orville's brother, Louis Brown, he did send this statement today saying that the Brown family is mourning the death of a beloved family member, saying we look forward to the official investigation. As for the status of that investigation, Cronfor talked to the CHP. Officers say they've interviewed Orville's estranged wife. They plan to do some follow-up work. The DA's office is looking into whether there was any criminal wrongdoing.